Hey guys, welcome to your very own channel KSJ Teaching where you get quality education at the most affordable prices. So if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the important videos that we upload for you people. And also do not forget to hit the like button on this video and share with all your friends. So guys, uh, I have one announcement from the ICI dated 9th of January 2018. So sir, what is the purpose of picking up this announcement now? Because I have been getting a lot of queries in the recent days. As you all know, Institute has clarified that the old course students are not going to get any more attempts, right? So whosoever were the old course student, that is the IPCC students, they will now have to convert to the new course, that is the CA intermediate course, right? So there is one very common query related to paper number three that sir if we appeared in the old course and we got exemption in paper number three that is cost accounting and financial management and now we are converting to the new course will that exemption be carried forward right so there is an institute announcement which clearly mentions see exemption in the papers granted in the ipcc course that is this one is the old course right then what will be the status under the new course what will be the status under new course so if you have got this exemption in the paper number three cost and management uh, cost accounting and financial management if you have exemption in paper number three then under the new course you will be exempted to appear in group one paper number three that is cost and management accounting and group two paper number eight that is financial management and economics for finance right so you your exemption will be carried forward and you will not be required to appear in the these two papers if you have exemption in paper number three under the old course okay so one thing is clear in this respect another area is sir if i have cleared group one if i had cl cleared the whole group under the old scheme and now i am converting to the new scheme will i be required to appear for the paper number eight that is financial management and economics for finance so again for that we have a clear announcement clear guidance from the institute that students who have appeared uh, who have passed group one right under the old scheme that is the integrated professional competence examination this is your ipc okay so if you have cleared your group one then you will be exempted to pass group two of the intermediate examination excluding paper number eight so it is clearly written excluding paper number eight of the group two that means you will have to appear for the group two under the new scheme but you will not be required to appear for paper number eight that is financial management and economics or finance because financial management paper you have already cleared in the group one old scheme right so you should be very clear about this thing because this was a very common query so i decided to share with you people through the institute announcement only that was given in 2018 when the new course was launched right so all these things have been taken care of it was 9th january 2018 and may 2018 was the first attempt under the new course right so i hope this is very much clear that if you have exemption also then your exemption will be carried forward to the new course and you will not be required to appear for paper 3 and paper 8 and if you have cleared your group 1 under the old scheme then you will be exempted from paper number 8 under the new scheme that is financial management and economics or finance you will not be required to appear for that paper right so hope so this information is useful to you and stay tuned guys for more such informations and do not forget to share with all your friends stay safe stay healthy keep studying keep sharing thank you so much